हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट यू टू सी द क्लीनिंग ऑफ द बैग हाउ क्लीन इज द बैग एंड आल्सो आई वांट टू नो योर थॉट प्रोसेस हाउ डू यू पॉलिश द बैग सो दिस इज अ केस ऑफ अ मैच्योर कैटरैक्ट अ सॉफ्ट वन एंड विदाउट एनी इंटीमेशंस so the plan is to do fecal emulsification and these cases these macho cataracts with a soft nucleus they leave lot of cortex behind in case of immature cataracts you can pull out the cortex from its anterior part uh, but in these cases what you find is that the cortex is left is in the far periphery under the capsule so you cannot really pull it out unless uh, you go in with your eye probe right into the periphery and uh, you have to pull the cortex as well as you can see here there is some epinuclear sheet just similar to shimmering ring there uh, which you have to take it out so for this purpose we use generally vacuum of 100 to 150 uh, avoid using very high vacuum here because uh, you are working a uh, very near to the equator of the lens and you may catch hold of the either anterior posterior capsule and uh, cause either a posterior capsular tear or anterior dialysis so it's better to use 100 to 150 vacuum and then when you do the polishing either of a posterior capsule or some part of the equator you use a vacuum of around 20 mm of mercury which is uh, very safe for the posterior capsule as well so you try to uh, go to all quadrants and uh, remove this uh, posterior capsular fibers or you can see few cells their opacities so you want to polish them off as far as possible and when you have got a good microscope which has good retroillumination you see it even clearly and then this is another method i use uh, uh, hydro polish which is basically using the 27 gauge cannula and you basically forcefully push the fluid into the equator of the bag so that removes lot of cortical fibers as well as you can see few cells there and you also can go from the side incision just make sure that you don't fill the chamber and make it too tight so just push uh, the fluid with force into the equator make sure you don't push it under the iris because it may go into the burgess space causing fluid misdirection there and causing increase uh, intraocular pressure so just avoid that and once i put the iol in the bag what i do is that i rotate this iol uh, because the haptics also will clear off some of the cortical matter which might be there residing in the equator of the bag in the far periphery which is not visible also it may be stuck so this movement of the haptics against the equator of the bag is quite useful to release it from there and you many times find that more cortex comes off from the bag once you dial this iol you can dial it two times three times also if you are suspecting some cortical remnants there and uh, then uh, we go under the iol and remove all the viscoelastic you will find more chunks following sometimes and you can remove them and then you can polish the anterior capsule again because now maybe and with the retroillumination you can see few opacities there in the anterior capsule how much you want to polish the anterior capsule is uh, really uh, variable because uh, few surgeons have seen the extensively polish the anterior capsule generally in my cases i don't tend to do extensive anterior capsule polishing apart from using the coaxial ia we can also use the bimanual ia which has much better reach to the all parts with the coaxial ia maybe subincisional part is little less polished and this is how the clean bag looks now there are few questions which uh, i would like to discuss what are the different methods you use i showed some of the techniques of capsule polish hydro polish and what other methods you can use and uh, whether do you polish anterior capsule in all cases or in few specific cases and do you try to really wash the equatorial cells do you go with the some instrument which uh, can rub off the 
cells from the anterior capsule as well as from the equator to reduce the chances of PCO and what are the results so do share with us and also I have this uh, question in mind whether this extensive anterior capsular polishing done by few surgeons whether it leads to bag instability in the long run because uh, the fibrosis of the anterior and posterior capsule is uh, I feel really important for stability of the bag and the IOL and whether if we do a lot of uh, extensive polishing of this capsule though the chances of PCO may get reduced a bit but whether we are compromising the stability of the bag. So these are my questions please do answer these questions and uh, you can leave the comments in the comment section and so that we can all learn together thank you so much